the atomic mass of the elements. Each element has multiple isotopes, mostly. There are a couple of elements that have a single isotope, uh, but most elements have multiple isotopes. So how do you represent the mass of the element? We want something that when we go and collect a sample of that element and weigh it, we get the mass that is close to or on the product table. So what we do, we're doing a weighted average of the isotope masses based on our percent abundance on the uh, planet Earth. So the weighted average will be the sum of each individual isotope, the mass times the percent abundance divided by 100%, so we turn it into a fraction of abundance. We're basing it on the planet Earth, so if we ever run into aliens and look at their periodic table, their masses will be different based on how they uh, assess it, whether it's on their planet or on the universal abundance. So to calculate our mass of element, and uh, in CAS, we'll probably have a, um, a fake element, so you can't just look it up on the periodic table. Um, we want to convert our percent abundances into fractional abundance, so we divide each one by a hundred percent. To get fractional abundance, multiply the mass of each isotope by that fractional abundance. And uh, we get uh, their contribution to the overall mass. So in this case, uh, the isotope um, magnesium has three isotopes, uh, magnesium 24, magnesium 25, magnesium 26. And you see that the uh, atomic mass of the isotope is close to the mass number, but not exactly equal to the mass number. Uh, so we do that uh, isotope mass times the uh, fractional abundance to get its contribution. And then we add these up, add these three terms up, and that will be our overall mass. So for magnesium, we end up with 24.31 based on our percent abundances. Let's go a different direction. Uh, this is a little harder problem, um, but it shows that we understand this equation up here, how to calculate the atomic mass of a of a um, element. So lithium has uh, two stable isotopes: lithium six, lithium seven. Uh, the Atomic weight of lithium is 6.94 AMU. Lithium-6 has a mass of 6.0151 AMU. Lithium-7 has a mass of 7.0160. And we want to know what the percent abundance of lithium-7 is. So we write out the atomic mass, 6.94. Equals our lithium six mass times um, this two percent of six. We don't know what that is yet. Plus the mass of lithium seven times its percent abundance, percent of seven. So we have an equation with two unknowns. Well, that won't work for us. Um, but we know that um, if we add up all the percents, they add up to 100%. So our percent of 6 plus our percent of 7 will add up to 100%. So let's uh, solve for this um, 7. We're going to call that uh, X. That's what we're looking for, the percent abundance of lithium 7. So that'll be our x. Solve this for our percent six. So our percent uh, six will be 
100% uh, minus x. And this is based on percent, so let's just turn this over into a fractional one. So that'll be a, a one minus uh, x in terms of fractional abundances. So we can rewrite this equation, 6.94 equals the mass of isotope 6, 6.0151. 6 then that fractional abundance is going to be 1 minus x. Uh, we're adding on the 7. And its fractional abundance is this x. So now we have one unknown, and the unknown is what we're looking for, the fractional abundance. We can turn that back into percent at the end. So now we uh, multiply through with this. So we have a 6.94 equals 6.0151 minus 6.0151x plus 7.0160x. We're going to move um, the non-x numbers to the left. So we got uh, 6.94 minus 6.0151. We're going to pull out our x here. So that would be um, the 7.016 minus the 6.0151. X, we do our subtractions. We have a 0.9249 will equal to 1.0009x. Solve for x, that'll be a 0.9249 over 1.0009 which equals 0.9241. To turn that back into a percent, this is the fractional abundance of isotope 7. We multiply by 100%, and we end up with a 92.41%. Uh, of isotope 7, lithium 7.